Hello, my name is Jim Twelves. I am the Programme Director for Master of Teaching Primary and Secondary here at Alphacusis College. And today is Friday, the 24th of July, 2020. Welcome to Semester 2, 2020, Term 3. What I thought I would do today is have a chat with you, particularly the new people, um, because I haven't met you and many of you I haven't even spoken to on the phone yet. So this is my way of saying hello, and I hope um, you watch this and read the notes that go with this video, because they're really going to set you up, I believe, for a good start in your teaching training here at Alpha Crucis. So welcome to the Graduate Certificate of Teacher Preparation people, the GCTP and the Certificate of Teacher Preparation, the CTP. You're most welcome as you join with the rest of our students. Uh, we will make you at home, I'm sure. Also, welcome to the new bachelor and the master students who are starting this semester with us. Um, and we trust your journey is a really fruitful, enjoyable one. First of all, a word about communication. Communication, I believe is absolutely crucial for success in so many areas. But looking at it from your point of view, from your position as a student, I, and you've got questions growing in your mind, what do you do with those? So here's my in, instruction for you. Your first protocol is your lecturer or tutor. So you find out who that is from your Moodle page and you communicate with them initially. Uh, usually your question will be, will be about that particular subject, so that's most appropriate. If your question is about a broader area, your whole award, your whole certificate, then you probably need to talk to your program director. A Stephen Brinton for bachelor people, undergraduate, and me for masters. If your question might be, higher than the program director then you're welcome to direct your question to David Hasty, the acting head of education and he will have a, a broader college-wide perspective of, of how everything fits together. If your matter is administrative, a uh, glitch in the administration then please send an email to Leng Cho who's our teaching assistant so that's a word about communication. Work up the line uh, and use emails primarily or the news forum if it's subject specific. Uh, never use the messenger system on Moodle, please. The reason being, um, if I see one come through to my email, I can't hit reply. Doesn't work. Um, there's a lot more clicks and I can't search through the messages. I can't put in the search bar and go for EDU 401 and, and get all the, the messages relating to that. So it's very clunky. So please don't use the Moodle Messenger in education. If you haven't explored ed info, ed underscore info yet, please make it your priority to find out what's in there. Because that's like the, the homeroom, the the home of education, no matter whether you're undergraduate, postgraduate, student, staff, everyone goes to edinfo for common material. In particular, the education student handbook. It's about 100 pages, so you're not going to read it all in one night, and I don't recommend you read it all either. But you might have it handy. You put it saved on a desktop. It is a really good source. Go to the index, click on it, and you'll go to the relevant place, particularly on how to set out assignments, particularly on how you're going to get graded here at Alpha Cusis, and to understand what a pass is, what a, a credit is, what a higher distinction is. A word about textbooks, we don't have them. That's the general rule across AEC. Some subjects may have, sorry, AC education. Some subjects may have a recommended book, which is fine, but the general rule is we don't. 
we prefer to send you to EBSCO host on the library site. That is much better where you get peer reviewed journals, where you get up to date, where you get variety rather than being locked in to one book or two. A word about COVID-19. Basically, Alpha Crucis is online at the moment. There are a few exceptions. Some subjects are beginning to explore about going back to face-to-face, -to -face, but the general rule is you're online. So whether you enroll in online or Sydney, you're ending up in the same Moodle shell. And in the face of, of COVID-19, we've got two responses. First of all, we call it the Zoom intensive equivalent. So if you are expecting an intensive, then the lecturer will be setting up a Zoom intensive equivalent or Z for short, Z-I-E. Uh, find out from your lecturer what that is, when that is, and if you can get to a synchronous class on Zoom, that's brilliant. Please make it your priority if you possibly can. They usually be an hour, they may be an hour and a half, not much more, I suspect. They'll be recorded and put onto Moodle so you can listen to them later. Uh, some subjects may, you may have been expecting to have a weekly class, in which case we have weekly inputs with Zoom instead of that, or WIZ, W-I-Z. So find out, make it your business, find out from your lecturer how your subject is going to be delivered and make sure you fit into the, um, the ra rationale, the regime. A word about engagement. By that I mean how well are you going to engage with your subjects and with your lecturers and with each other. I think a lot depends on your availability. You might be a busy mum, you might be working full time and squeezing your study in, in which case your availability is very minimal. You might be a self-disciplined person, you might be a bit scatty at times. I know I am. And again, people's character varies. Some can focus really, really well on their own. Others need people for their energy. You've got to know yourself and know what style you actually need. But whatever it is, it's like a, a journey of discovery of how you're going to engage with your subject and with your lecturer, with your fellow students. So make it your priority to work out how best to engage and engage on a consistent basis, not just at the beginning and then it all falls flat by September. A word about clinical teaching model, CTM, and the hubs. Those terms you will come across. Now, I really commend them to you because what they do is they put you, the student, in a real teaching context. Admittedly difficult in Victoria at the moment, but a real teaching context so that you can match your theory with your practice all the time. And it's not a case of a whole bunch of theory and then you go and do your practice. It's there's a synergy. So find out about the clinical teaching model and the hubs, and you never know, they may be the making of you. Anyway, enough from me now. Looking forward to meeting you. Have a very, very successful semester and keep in touch. Bye.